I will continue the presentation with a small demonstration. I have made a, a model in advance uh, where I can show you a very simple example on how you can uh, include your own checks uh, while designing your models. So this is a simple structure. It, it has steel and concrete uh, cross sections. So here you see uh, four different cross sections. I've also added the names of uh, all of them and the bottom ones are two concrete uh, sections which are located to the uh, lower to the lower right of, uh, of the model. Uh, of course you have to perform all of the linear calculations before you can use uh, open checks. So here you see the design forms uh, service. It's a service which is specially dedicated to uh, your own checks. And in the check manager, you can arrange your own uh, calculations. So let's see how everything can be set up in design forms. We will open the builder application from SIA design forms. Uh, as you see, I have prepared two examples for you. This, is one, this one is a really simple one, so we have a, a simple code and then um, normally the values for all of these, for the, for the variables are taken from libraries in C Engineer or they can be introduced by the user using the dialog in the, in the user application, but in this case we are going to link to C Engineer so we do not need such a dialog. Here you see the internal model data of CI Engineer. It can be read via this EMD loader. And there are particular strings that you can use to refer to these variables inside your model. So we save and we export. And what we see now at the moment, this form reads data from the model that is currently used in CI Engineer. So we have the cross-section area, uh, the normal force, the safety coefficient for material, the yield strength, and uh, using these variables we calculate the unity check results. In this IO viewer you see uh, all of the variables, all of the model data stored into a tree structure and you can easily uh, find what you need using the, the I.O. viewer. So at the moment the file is uh, set up and all of the uh, variables are correctly referred to. We define result variables, so these are the variables that will be considered in C Engineer as results. I selected the unity check and uh, just to demonstrate something I also selected the cross-section area. These variables now appear uh, in uh, the header tab. Of, you can assign the correct unit per variable. So what does this mean? If you select the equivalent SI unit for a particular variable, this means that values for this variable will be plotted in C Engineer in the units that you have selected inside the settings of C Engineer. A couple of other settings are related to the applicability of the check. Is it going to be performed for the Eurocode or for another norm or will it apply to 1D members or to plates or to nodes? Also uh, to which member should it be applied in terms of materials? So a check usually is performed either for a steel or a timber member or a concrete member. So this can all be taken into account. And then we can uh, export the CLC file into the correct folder. In this case, uh, the file has already been placed uh, in the OpenChecks folder of C Engineer. We read it in. We can select icons for, uh, on one hand, the check itself. On the other hand, also, there's another icon for uh, additional data. Remember, um, we also select for which norms should this check be performed. It means if we, we are currently using another norm, then this check will not be visible. The same is valid for material and for uh, the type of member 
you can also see the output variables, settings, all of the settings related to the visualization of these. Also, you can activate auto design options. And uh, now the check is ready to see engineer. We yeah. see here that um, uh, it appears in the tree. It's a very simple check. And now we're going to see what the results are. So now, depending on the normal force in these steel columns and the diagonals and beams, we obtain the result of the unity check. So uh, the values appear in gray because uh, for all members, uh, these um, the values calculated for the check are below the 0 0.25 uh, norm. And changing the load combination resulted in bigger normal forces. So now you see that the uh, check results are higher, still all of the members fulfilled this check. We can also um, use the preview, uh, we have two types of previews, so the brief one which gives you the results in table form. So here you see the unity check values for each member and uh, this is a maximum per member, so every member is checked on, in a number of sections and also the area is plotted because we selected it as a result variable. The following type of output is the detailed output and the detailed output gives you uh, as a calculation report what you have formatted in SIA design forms. So you see that uh, as it was shown in design forms, now it also appears here you see the area, the normal force to the to the right. Um, we can also add some additional information. So let's say, the, let's add some text to uh, indicate what is the name of this member for which the check is currently listed. So the member name here we see it in the tree. So we know where to look in the in the tree structure. There's also IntelliSense to guide you through. Uh, through the process and uh, now we obtain a small label uh, which says uh, this these results are for member B13 so let's reread this uh, so re-import this check in C engineer yes and uh, we can perform the check again and print the detailed output and in this case detailed output will also show us for which member we're doing the check. So we check that all of the properties are correct. We perform, for example, for each cross section uh, and then we show the detailed output. The calculation is uh, being performed. And now we can look at the preview. So as you see, uh, these are the extremes per cross section. So, um, for example, B2 is uh, the highest force for the corresponding cross section. Uh, another thing I wanted to demonstrate, just to as a proof of concept, uh, let's print the area values. So in this case, the area is set up as a result variable, and now these uh, the values are plotted onto the members. Another thing we will display is the name of the cross-section and why is that important? That way we can compare with the plotted results. So in this case you see uh, for this member, this column, we have an area of 5,380 and the result which is shown by the check, so the area as taken from the uh, design forms calculation is also given, yes, it's, uh, it's the same value here. Uh, for the diagonal and now we have this roof beam and in this case it's 2710 for both in the check and in the name of the cross section. I retyped uh, the area and added it to the name of the cross section for this uh, comparison. Again plotting the unity check uh, and for another reason, I will demonstrate the auto design feature. Um, so the auto design feature works identically to how it works for in-house checks. It means for each cross section, it is possible to cycle through the CA engineer library 
to find a more optimal, more used or, or uh, um, better, better suited cross-section for the member depending on certain check that is used as criteria. So in this case, uh, first we do for the columns, um, we have to reduce the cross-section of course, remember this is just a tensile check, the results are not very realistic, it's just a demonstration, so now we change the, the cross-section of the columns, then we also change the, the floor beams, Okay, so search for optimum, it means uh, the cross-section now is uh, going to be selected from the library of HEA profiles. The original is HEA 200 and most likely a smaller section will be selected. Currently HEA 100 is suitable, the same for the diagonals, the forces in them are very small as you can see the value of the unity check, uh, the, the system searches for a better solution and most likely we will be using the smallest profile, yes. So now these are the updated unity check values. Of course, the, the structure needs to be recalculated so that the results will be precise now with the updated cross sections. Nevertheless, um, if we continue like this, uh, we will get a message in the report that the results are not valid because the structure has to be recalculated. So here you see at the top uh, the structure has to be recalculated, so this is okay. But just as a, just to demonstrate, I will again show you the improved check results. So again for the ULS combination, now we have uh, unity check values that are closer to 1. So this is an improvement. Uh, there's a, a second example that I've already included here. The second example is a generic bending test. And I will print these results also. Uh, so for each member we want the unity check values plotted. Let us check the member data feature, other uh, member data, so if we look at the example that I'm currently showing in CI Engineer, on the dialog tab you see that I have prepared a member data this is entirely for linking with CI Engineer it's the values that cannot be retrieved from CI Engineer or from the model need to be manually introduced by the user here it's a uh, the safety factor of course can be obtained from CI Engineer but just as a dem demonstration so I will perform the same check but now with a different uh, uh, safety factor uh, let's try this columns will be assigned a safety factor of 2.5 so now it will be obvious when uh, the results are plotted that uh, different values should be uh, uh, obtained for these columns. Labels are shown and when you click on the label you can re uh, review the data that is defined for this member in particular. For all of the other members the default values are used so here you see the same check performed twice resulted in higher values for the unity check for these columns. Uh, still the values are quite low so you only see that uh, only one value exceeds 0 0.25.
and it is exactly for the columns which we uh, designed with another safety factor. So, and last, I would like to show the engineering report, uh, how it works with uh, um, external checks. So here in the tree, you see design forms and then the checks that you are currently using in this model. When you perform a regeneration, uh, then you will see uh, the, the plot of your results. So here you have the same options. You have to define for which members, for which, for which selection of members do you show the results. So you can have uh, options related to which columns should be visible. So in this case, uh, let's improve a little bit the, the visual style for this one. Related to the second, to the first check we performed, it was the normal force. The normal force check had two result variables. It was the unity check and the cross section area. So here you see I show the detailed uh, output for the normal force check and it appears depending on the options which are given in the properties window. And uh, again, let's do this for the bending check. We will again uh, plot the, we will also plot the detailed output for a number of cross sections, so extreme for each cross section. Um, after regeneration, you can set up the, the options for the plotting of the design forms output. In this case, uh, first iteration appears uh, quite okay. Here there are options, you can remove the top table and uh, you can also uh, add additional uh, data if needed. Then the bending check, we can also show the brief layout. So let's show for the ULS combination. And we should obtain uh, the results in table form. And voila, here is the, the check results for, all, for the two checks, both brief and detailed output uh, are added in this example. Also, it's possible to, for example, add the cross-section area. And now uh, you have both result variables plotted in the table. So uh, this was the demonstration, I hope you, you enjoyed it and uh, we will move on to the following presentations.